Hey guys, this is T from Driftwood Gaming and I'm back with another Effexier tutorial. We're going to cover Chapter 5 as is found on their website in their documentary under the section Tutorials. So today we're going to do a slashing effect. And the first thing that I want to mention when we're doing the slashing effect is that it mentions easing in the tutorial. And those of you who are familiar with RPG Maker MV will be familiar with the term tweening. Essentially, it is just defining a starting point and an ending point for different parameters, including scaling, coloring, and uh, direction, speed, angle, etc. So it, it might be a little easier to understand what easing is if you think about it in the terms of tweening. They're not exactly the same, but they're extremely similar. So let's get started. We're going to do a slashing effect. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put an image in here. We're going to click on basic render settings and load an image that will work for this. After we've loaded line one, we're going to give it a negative 45 degree angle. And to do that, we need to have the rotation tab. So I'm just going to grab that here. Throw that in the toolbar like that and we're going to do a PVA angle and the z-axis is going to be negative 45. So let's play this and make sure we're doing this correctly. Now you notice how it didn't actually rotate. That's because we haven't turned it into a rotating billboard yet. So we're going to do that now. Rotated billboard and we're at a negative 45 degree angle. We're going to take the settings that are found in the tutorial and apply it to this line that we've already put in. Let's go into the basic settings and we're going to give it the name line one and we're going to set the time to live to 20 and actually just for the sake of there we go we're going to set the time to live to 20 so we're going to see this over and over and over again and we already changed the rotation angle to negative 45 the next thing we're going to do is change the scaling method and that's where we get into easing so instead of fixed scale let's change this to easing now that we've selected easing we're going to put in the parameters that are found in the tutorial Four for the x-axis, one for the y-axis, and one for the z-axis. We're going to end it at 1, 25, and 1. So now you see we got a bit of a, a slashing effect going on here. Now another thing to keep in mind with easing is it also sets interlopation. And uh, I'm not exactly sure how each one of these affects things specifically. There is a guide on the tutorial, but I'm not sure which one is which on the guide because they're not labeled. So um, I would just suggest at this point before understanding exactly how they work to follow the tutorial for this, but play around with it and see what happens and what effects that you like. But for this one, we're going to set it from fastest to slowest. The next thing that we're going to do is go into the basic render settings and change the blend to additive. We already added the line one file, so we don't have to do that. And then we're going to go into the render settings. We already selected this as a rotating billboard, so the next thing we're going to do is change the color to easing as well. So uh, the tutorial does give what, what color to use, but I'm not going to punch in numbers here. Instead, I'm just going to choose a number that I like right here in this cool little color thingy and I'm going to drag this down. The start is going to be purple and the end is going to be pink. So let's pick a pur purple and pick a pink. And now that we have our pink, let's drag that down to the min and max. So the min and the max are the same, but the start and the end are different. And again, we're selecting our interlopation. It's called ease in and ease out. But this time we're going to go from slowest to fastest. Okay. So now we have our slash effect. Now notice that this slash effect is on one node. We have line one. So in order to add to this animation, we're going to add another node. So go ahead and click on root and put add node. Now on this node, let's go to the basic settings and just name it. We're going to name this one line two. And we're going to make the lifetime 20 seconds along with the other one. And the other settings that we will do is we will change the spawn count to 10 and go to the rotation. And we're going to change the rotation to PVA. We're not going to change the actual angle. We're going to change the deviation. The settings for that are going to be X0, Y0, and Z is 180. And what that's going to do is make it so that the image that we have, each one of those 10 spawns is going to spawn in at a different 180 degree angle. The next thing that we want to do is go to the scaling box and we're going to change this to easing as well. 
And our settings are going to be 1, 1, 1 for the start. And for the end, they're going to be 1, 10, 1. Okay? And then the interlopation, or the easing in and the easing out, will be from fastest to slowest. Now let's put the image in here, because this looks kind of funky. There it is. That looks a little bit better now. And we're going to change the blend to additive and make it a rotated billboard. And once once I do this, uh, make it a rotated billboard, you'll see that it spawns it at a different 180 degree angle for each spawn. See? Isn't that cool? And the next thing we're going to do is the coloring. So we're going to go to color all, change this to easy. And do the same thing. I'm kind of doing it the lazy way. If you don't, you know, if you're entering a competition, anybody who's entering our competition to win a copy of MZ, you might want to be a little more careful, but I'm just going to be lazy about the colors and I want pink and purple. So yeah, that looks pink and that looks purple to me. Beautiful. Now again, the easing in and the easing out, we're going to set this one to slowest to fastest. So now that we have this cool slash line effect, we're going to add another like light blam explode effect because that's what the tutorial tells us to do. So the next thing we're going to do is create another node. So add node and then we're going to name it. We're going to call it bloom. So that's what I called it. Bloom one. And the spawn count is one. The lifetime is 20. So the next thing we'll do is go into the scale window and we're going to change this to PVA single and the expansion speed is going to be point Six. I'm going to go into the basic render settings and load the image and we're going to use particle 2 for this. Now the blend is going to be additive. The last thing we have to do now is change the color. Going into render settings, we'll take the color all drop down and change that to easing and just pick a purple color and drag that down. Pick a pink color and drag that down. And then we're also going to change this from slowest to fastest. And that looks pretty, but we're going to add one more bloom. And the thing is, is this bloom is actually almost completely identical to the other one. So what we're going to do is copy this node, which is very convenient, grab the root and paste it. We go in here and all we have to do now is change the name so we can tell one from the other and we're going to change the image to particle 3. And there you have it. We have a really cool slashy effect. Next one coming up is chapter 6. Don't forget guys, we have a competition going on. It's called the Ultimate Effect Seer Animation Contest. You can get a free copy of MZ if you win. And you're able to put in three effects. So the software is not very hard to learn, you guys. See if you can win yourself a free copy of MZ. There's also a couple DLCs on the line. We don't know what they are yet because they haven't been announced yet, which is also kind of exciting. We haven't even seen them. Give this video a like. Subscribe, hit that bell, come back next time because we're going to go over chapter 6. Bye-bye!